lot of people who come to Trafalgar Square probably don't even notice old poor King Charles I up there on his horse. He looks incredibly short, it's amazing. It's the oldest bronze statue in Britain. Did you know that? After the revolution, Oliver Cromwell, the guy who had King Charles' head chopped off, he ordered for all the statues of King Charles to be taken down and melted down. So this particular one was taken down from Covent Garden where it originally was. And it was given to a man by the name of John Rivet, some typical Cockney. What he actually did is he hid it in his garden. He pretended he'd been melting it down and made a fortune selling funny little trinkets to tourists and stuff like that, saying, oh, this is made from the melted down statue of King Charles I. And they, he sold them to everybody. Typical wheeler dealer. As long as he got a quid out of it, that's the main thing. Yeah, yeah. typical Londoner. When King Charles II was reinstated to the throne, the cheeky cockney rascal brought it back out of his garden and he sold it back to King Charles II, who had it reinstated here, facing down Whitehall towards where his father, King Charles I, who's the bloke on the horse, got his head chopped off. I believe King Charles was actually a bit of a shorty, which is why they had to put him onto that horse so they could tamper with all the dimensions. It still looks a little bit out of proportion, if you ask me, but uh, maybe he just looked like that. Who knows? You're right in the centre of London, do you know? This plaque on the floor is the point from which all distances are measured in Great Britain. Nice spot for lunch. See, what happened was, back in 1290, King Edward I, that was Edward Longshanks, the, uh, the mean old bloke who had Mel Gibson packed to pieces in the film Braveheart, his wife died. And all the way from Lincoln, where she died, to London, along her funeral cortege, he erected 12 crosses. And the final one was called Charing Cross, which was placed here but uh, it's now been moved to Charing Cross Station, which is over there. Yes. Well, there you go. Fascinating, there you eh? Go. Learn something new every day.